Alright guys, ooh man that's bright, ooh, I can barely see, anyways, okay, putting in the subfloor today, I know I already said that, but it's a new day, we didn't get it done, because we were doing the foam board, it's been dried overnight, I need to move my van over, oh, we're at my uncle's, Uncle Gordon, you guys remember him, he's in the back. As this might be your last bit here on the, on the tubes, do you have anything you want to say to my people? Want to see me nude? <laughs> and no, we still don't want to see him nude. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and move the van over. I got my materials. I showed you guys my floors before. The floors have changed. Uh, I found out that the floors that I had were not life proof. They were not waterproof. They were water resistant, not waterproof. We took those back to Home Depot. Oh, and if you are somebody who does a lot of home improvements, or if you're looking to get into van stuff, van life, and make a lot of purchases through Home Depot, get the Home Depot credit card because you can return anything within a year's time frame. I bought those floors last year back in May, but it was still within that year time frame. So I was able to return it, got $137 back, and I got these new floors, which were a lot more. <laughs> I've got expensive taste. You know I might have been born just plain white trash, but fancy words are my name. Uh, that's okay, looks like I have to go back to work. Anyways, new floors. So we got our materials, I'm gonna move them. Put them over here with the floors, the walls, another video, and we're gonna get to work. Let's get shit done. Why do I always have to point the sun at me? The sun should be behind me, but then I'd blind you. Anyways, OCD, besides the All right, so we got the first board put in. Well, not necessarily put in, but I mean, it's in. It's just not screwed down. It's not screwed and glued. Um, so yeah, we got it in here. And before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the board for the steps. Because all of this, like I said before, would be tiled, since this is gonna be the shower area. Yeah, we got the first one in. Once I am satisfied with this and the step area, then I will move on to the wheel hub section and then the back section. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, I've got old Uncle Gordon, man of wisdom, man of many words, helping me out. Do you have something you'd like to say to the people? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a man of few words <laughs> today. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Yep, I'm gonna set you guys back up on the tripod and let's see if we can get this finished before sundown. Okay guys, we're losing sun. It doesn't look that well. It doesn't look that way, but we're losing sun. So we're gonna pick back up tomorrow. We got, we'll call it the first third of the of the floor done. If we're doing this in thirds. <laughs> Hi. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow. Peace. And it's another day. All right, so yesterday was hot and sunny, dry and sunny. Today is cold and wet. We're back over here at Uncle Gordon's. I got my coffee and we're gonna hope that it doesn't rain again. In the meantime, before I pull everything out of the back of the van and pick up where we left off on the subfloors, cleaning my air filter. It was really, really gross. <laughs> it was really nasty. And here, and all these crevices, which is gunk built up for I don't know how long and so many dead flies. Now I'm just letting it dry out before I apply this oil k and filter. So, yep. Anyways, we're about to pull everything out of the, the van, finish putting in the subfloors. 
weather permitting, I'm gonna try to just get the subfloor done today. If I get lucky, we might put in the actual floors. So let me show you, I don't know. So I told you yesterday that I returned the original floors that I bought because I found out that they weren't waterproof, they were water resistant. Even though I went with the sort of the same color, the last ones were mostly gray with hints of brown, whites, and blacks. This one, the package isn't really doing it justice. These floors are damn near black. You know what? I'll set you down. We'll come back to this and I'll show you what the floors look like. <laughs> I've got my the wind blowing against me. I know it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> the door keeps hitting me. Yeah. Let me let me let me clear the van out. Let me get this day started right. I'm all over the place. I'll get back with you. All right? Just just bear with me. One second. All right, we're back. Not that I went anywhere. Uh, <laughs> quick little update. So I got the van emptied out. All the stuff is under the carport. So if it does rain, it won't get wet. But things are starting to look a little up because I'm starting to see a little bit more sun. Fingers still crossed. The update is I got to go back to town. Let me show you. So here in the step area, framing is on the edge, but it doesn't go all the way to the back. And I've got some foam board back here. And when I put down my subfloor on this step, the back end set a little bit low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to town and get a can of foam just so I can spray it over here. And then once it dries, I'll shave it down to where it's flush with this. I think that'll that'll help then when I get back and the foam's dry while the foam's drying I guess I will go ahead and work on the rest of the floor but then when it dries I can then come back to this and put down my 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 backing and my flooring and have that ready uh, again this is going to be all shower tile since my shower is going to be here if I have any runoff it's running off onto that tile and not my other floors not that it would matter it is what it is it'll probably be more difficult to put all the shower tile here because of all the little cuts I'm gonna have to make I don't know form over functionality if that's a thing <laughs> anyways all right let's go to town okay we're back from town I got great stuff I got this marine grade reusable black foam because it says for use for indoor and outdoor and considering that i'm going to be using it right here indoors next to the outdoors it seemed like the logical one to use so, all right we're going to spray that on let it dry and get to work on these floors so let's get to work Guys, my back is killing me. I think I might have pulled something. And what's funny, well, it might be funny to you, but I'm getting old. Because I think it happened while I was sleeping. You know you're getting old when you wake up in the morning in pain. And all you did was sleep. <laughs> Got to trim down some of the framing so it's flush because the, the framing on the floor is kind of different levels in some areas. So, yeah, let's get to doing that. Oh, this is a rough day. My back is killing me. I got that framing trimmed out a little bit. 
I mean, it's not perfect. You can see it's not exactly perfect, but once I screw and glue it down, the seam in the middle will be perfect. And the reason I'm not too concerned about this is because this section in front of this wheel hub will actually either have part of my water tank on this or a shelf going up the length or both. Probably a little bit of both. I might have some overage of my water tank coming over and then have like a small narrow shelf like a spice rack or something right here. And so I guess my point is that I'm trying to make, I'm not gonna be walking on this. So I can adjust whatever sets on it to this. So I don't have to worry about, you know, a bend in the floor. My main concern is the center of the floor where I know I'll be walking. That's all flat, that's all flush, that's all great. So now we're gonna work on this back section. Here's our foam. Looking kind of ridiculous right now, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and cut this and get it done. We'll talk more on this box later, probably in another video, because I mean, this box is a whole thing in itself and I still have to insulate it. All right, we're almost done with the subfloor. And in case this video is running a little bit long, I might go ahead and stop here and pick up in the next week's video, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Either way, let's get back to work. I just realized something. I haven't cut my holes yet for the wires. Oh, my back is killing me. All right, All right I gotta pull this out now. Figure out this whole wire situation. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm in a lot of pain. My back is calling it a day. My mind says I can keep going, but my body's like, no. This is what we got done so far. Almost got the entire floor done subfloor that is this section over here with the wires i cut it lengthways i'll notch out a small section here and this board notch out a small section here and that board as well as notch out another here for this wire over here i've got a notch out for this wire too all that notch is going to get done later so this is going to be the end of this vlog i'm in pain so i'm going to probably do some stretches and then go rest which is gonna be hard, because the last two days laying in bed during sleeping hours, I wasn't laying in bed all day. We were working yesterday. The last two days, my back has been hurting and laying in bed has not helped. Getting old sucks. All right, see you guys next week. Peace.